Madison is in Business Magazine celebrates 40 under 40. The program recognizes 40 of the most successful and civic-minded young professionals under the age of 40. The class of 2019 will be recognized in the March issue and honored at a networking reception tomorrow at the Madison Club. And one of this year's honorees is Ryan Klostermeyer from Heartland Hospice Services. Ryan, congratulations. Yeah, Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. How does it feel to be honored in this way? Uh, it, it feels great. Yeah. Uh, I feel excited and incredibly humbled, you know, and I think that uh, for me what was the most exciting is, is um, really I didn't tell my story. I got to tell the story of the incredible team that I work with and the work that we're doing in the community, and that's what makes it really special. Well, let's, let's talk about your business. What, what do you do? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm the administrator of Heartland Hospice. Um, we're the largest not-for-profit hospice in the United States, but we're locally based right here in Madison, serving Dane and the surrounding communities. And how did you find yourself into that line of work? Yeah, so um, when I was 18 years old, I was uh, a CNA or a caregiver in assisted living, and I um, was working when I a patient passed away and um, that experience though was so moving and so gripping and so powerful uh, because to be invited into the intimacy of someone's death is something uh, you will never forget and often um, don't get to experience and so that privilege just hooked me and uh, I've been working in hospice ever since. You became a nurse? Correct, yep, I've been a, a nurse since 2007. Do you still work in patient care or are you more administrative now? Every, every once in a while I will try to get out and see patients but primarily I work in an administrative role at this point. So how do you, how do you become one of the 40 under 40? <laughs> does someone have to nominate you or how does it work? Yeah, it's a, it's a nomination process and then you, you essentially fill out an application and, and that's where I got to tell you know the story of the great work that the team is doing at Heartland. Oh, that's wonderful. It's a great yeah. honor. You have a, sort of a fascinating personal story as well. Tell us a little bit about uh, the children that you foster, children with special needs. Sure, yeah. Um, my wife and I started fostering uh, in 2015. Um, my wife is also a nurse and uh, when she was doing that, she was doing pediatric home care and she realized a lot of the children that she was seeing um, were foster children actually and uh, through talking to those foster parents realized that there's an incredible need uh, for foster parents so there's far more children in need of foster homes than there is homes available to them and um, being that we're both nurses uh, not only did we decide we had the desire to foster but that we could take children into our home that had advanced medical needs um, so that uh, they could have stability and love which is what every child needs. That's and, incredible. And there you, are angels among us, boy, I'll tell you. And you plan hopefully to adopt them. Correct, yes. Hopefully this year, fingers crossed, that we'll be able to adopt them. You have three, you have your own biological children? Correct, we have three biological children Five as well. Kids. <laughs> wow, you've got a <laughs> lot on your plate and under yeah, 40 already. Yeah. Are you a Madison native? No, I grew up uh, in Heartland, closer to Pewaukee, but I've been here um, for about five years now, and um, we just love being a part of the fabric of Madison. What do you like about Madison? What do I like about <laughs> Madison? Wow. How much time you got? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that uh, I love, honestly, that... Uh, the small town feel of Madison, you know, and that uh, you can drive 15 miles in any direction and be in a cornfield. We live in the country, and so it's nice to be able to uh, work in an urban area but go home to a rural area, and um, everything in between that that offers is just makes it feel like home. Are you a UW-Madison grad? I'm not. No, no. Oh, really? No, no, I'm a transplant. So. Oh, well, yeah, like so many of us. <laughs> that's yeah. okay. Yeah. We'll give you a break. But you're keeping your business in town here, and that's a, that's a great Yeah, thing. absolutely. We, we operate locally here and, and serve Madison and the surrounding areas. Well, again, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Well, I can't wait to see what you do in the next 40. I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. Ryan, thanks for being with us and today. Best Thank of you. luck with the adoption. Appreciate it. Great to see you. Well, the final